In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at a 17 second finished project and then reverse engineer it in this tutorial and a couple that will follow. We're going to look at some interesting things you can do with titles in terms of color transitions using a mask. We're also going to look at some things you can do with other title features, also what you can do with flares, and what you can do with varying lengths of audio that you need to adjust for your project. So that's on the agenda. Let's look at the example and then we'll go ahead and begin to reverse engineer this. Well, the first thing we'd like to do is we'd like to do the feature where the uh, phone number was changing colors from left to right. How do you do that? Well, what I'm going to do is start with my main uh, video here. I'll put it on track number three. And this is where we start. Now, what I want to do next, I want to add a bunch of tracks. I'm going to click on the uh, add tracks. I'm going to add, let's give, be generous. Let's use six video tracks and zero audio tracks and we will add them not below track four but we'll add them above track three so now i've got plenty of room to work next what i want to do is i want to create punch a hole into my video for the number to show up so i'm going to uh, highlight my video clip and then i'll click on designer Mask Designer is in mine. Yours might be under PIP Designer, depending on your version of PowerDirector. I'll click on that. And then I'm going to go to Create Mask. When I click on there, the default Create Mask is the My Title. And though I'm going to change it, uh, let's change the size first of all. Maybe 22 is good. I'm going to change the font family to uh, something big and thick, but not that one. I'm going to take the uh, impact. I like that. And I'm going to widen it out just a little bit, make it a little bit larger than that. Uh, and then we'll drag it down to, where, to about where I want it in my finished project. So I have to make a pretty good guess here. Um, I think this will be a good location. Well, maybe up just a little bit. So that's where it's going to be. Now, instead of my title, I'm going to type in a fictitious phone number. And now I have my mask. I'll click on OK. Now, immediately that put a mask in, but I need to reverse the mask. So I'm going to go to the left side, click on Invert Mask. And there's my number. OK, now the mask was created while I had my video click. So that is what it applies to. So this is the video with a mask on it. Now what I want to do is change the color of the mask. Now remember the mask uh, is punches a hole through the video and uh, so right now there's nothing in the background so I could just simply take a color board and instead of black uh, let me pick a maybe a cream color take this one here and drag it down and now I just change the letters to cream. Uh, if I wanted another color I could take another color board and let's say take this one here and drop it down and now it would move from cream to this kind of a goldish color. And if I want to change the color on that, let me do that. I right click and click on change color. I can change it from the preview or the color selector and let's pick something in kind of the dark brownish range here. Ooh, that doesn't show up, does it? Well, one more chance. Color selector will kick her up a little bit. Too. That's that. That's not bad. Okay, but we don't want it simply to go from one color boom to another. We could, but let's be a little more dramatic. I want the color to start on the left side and move to the right. Well, the way I do that is I'm going to use keyframing for my color. So let's see. Let's take the second color box. Uh, we want the first one to be on the screen, let's say two seconds is plenty of time. So we'll take it on two seconds. 
so people can start to read the phone number and then we're going to keyframe our second color double click on it and get into my pip designer and uh, to make sense for me what I'm going to basically do is make this smaller I'll turn off the maintain aspect ratio I wish that were by default were off and then we'll make it just big enough to cover the, the numbers we don't have to be exact and then I'll position it over here off the screen or I could even have it on a little bit because remember anything but the letters is not seen so I'll bring it about here and then what I'm going to do is in my keyframe I'm going to click a diamond on the position value so it will start uh, with the hole looking at the old color and this color will be gone then let's go in here a couple of seconds uh, we want it fast, but we don't want it too fast. Let's try something around two seconds and see what that works. And I will right click on here and I'll click on add new keyframe. Or I could click the diamond. Either one works. And then I'm going to move this over. That will change the keyframe value. And then I'll click on OK. Now when we go back, let's see what happens. Uh, we'll be in movie mode. We'll go ahead and play it. We have our one color and then the other one comes in and it looks pretty cool that effect where it kind of goes across now if I think that's too fast what I'm going to do go back into my uh, color board in the pip designer and if that's too fast let's let's say I that's too quick for me maybe make it um, oh, two and a half seconds two seconds 15 frames and we'll run the same thing through here go ahead and play it and yeah that's not too bad so two and a half is pretty good and then what I need to do if I want to go back to the original color is I can take my first color board right click and copy um, now I'm going to copy this one because this one has the keyframes in it that way I don't have to set them again right click and copy and then I'll go into track three and I right click and I paste and I'll overwrite there's nothing to overwrite let's see this starts at two seconds uh, I think we went in two so we'll start at four now we need to change the color back to this one and uh, I've got my numbers here if I want to punch them in but I think it's uh, this one here uh, change color color selector and I'll punch in the numbers it was 255 255 165 okay now it's exact match here and this one has already been keyframed so let's see what happens when it goes back and forth okay first number runs across second number runs across third number now the third one isn't paced right so I need to move it a little bit over let's try one more second in and I would have to sketch this out on a piece of paper to make sure I have my timings the way I want them to be I'll show you a problem you may run into if you do this there we go okay you see it just turned black here all you have to do then is stretch the other one out you want to make sure that it's in place by the time the number changes so what I would do if I wanted to do this four or five more times I would simply uh, take this one here right click copy it go down to the other track now that I have my two opposing colors with keyframes right click and paste and I say yes and I would move it over wherever I think it belongs and I'll take this one right click copy down here right click and paste and you just alternate them and uh, it would do it for the length of the clip we'll look at more tips from this same illustration in the next tutorial